Under sunny skies, a large crowd gathered at Waltham Common to honor veterans, both living and dead, at the fifth annual Circle of Remembrance ceremony. I would like to thank the 1,965 people whose names are etched in the bricks here, including 121 this year. And also I want to thank all veterans because they have made this country what it is today and we will be and are eternally grateful for that. The event was hosted by Veterans Services Chairman and City Councilor Joe Giordano, who invited local officials to reflect on the meaning of military service. The Speaker of Honor was Colonel Paul Roche, who led local youth in a recitation of the Pledge of Allegiance and offered insight into the meaning of the U.S. Marine Corps motto. How would these veterans today want us to honor them? How would they want us to be always faithful, semper fidelis, to them. I believe they would want us to honor them by taking care of their living brothers, the present day links in the chain of service. After the mayor laid a memorial wreath, participants in the ceremony were invited to lay roses on the 121 new bricks. Uh, yes, we purchased a brick for uh, my brother, Norm Collette, who served in Vietnam between 65 and 68. For locals and those who had traveled to the event, the bricks are a tangible reminder of something intangible. 18 months overseas, and I was in the infantry, the 91st Division, Combat Infantry. I did see a lot of action, and I thank God I'm alive to be here. Um, For me, it means that my great uncles and my grandfather, how they have such a great, they did a great thing for society for fighting in the wars and now they're going to be respected for that. Not all those honored were men. Sarah Menti's great aunt served as a nurse in World War II. Um, I think it's significant to note that she, uh, she volunteered for the service. She wasn't enlisted. Uh, it was something she felt called to do and something that she was able to use her profession. The, the war they're fighting now, it seems like we've forgotten over in these foreign countries and um, we have men being killed every day and uh, all of a sudden it's uh, being put in the back pages. For Waltham Newswatch, this is Chris Wangler.